Nonprofits know the story well. They launch and test an innovative pilot, they achieve some level of success, and there seems to be a great opportunity to continue to grow and scale the work. But once the initial funding of a pilot phase is complete, how do organizations sustain that work over the long run? How do you develop a compelling case, both within the organization and to funders, to continue this work? These were the questions we tackled with two organizations that participated in the asset building through Credit Pilot. To put it simply, the pilot involved offering a financial product, in this case a secured card, together with credit coaching. The idea was that providing the product, together with specific coaching around ways to use the card to build credit, would enable entrepreneurs to build their scores and develop good financial behaviors around the use of credit. The outcomes for the pilot were encouraging to the organizations that launched the project. 71% of participants increased their scores and 42% moved from a subprime credit score to a prime score. There were also signs that positive financial behaviors were beginning to sink in. The organization saw some promise and wanted to dig in further on how to sustain this program past the pilot period. We use the Lean Canvas to help these two organizations think through their business model for this secured card line of business. Again, we wanted to help them build a strong case for their work. As you can see here, there are nine boxes that together represent the core elements of a business model. In the process we used, we brought together teams within each organization to describe, analyze, think through, and make changes or adjustments to the business model for the secured card. The Lean Canvas is built around the belief that a successful business model starts with a focus on the customer. It needs to start with creating services that address problems your customers face. So you start here on the right side of the canvas to describe the different customer segments you're targeting. Then you work through the canvas to clearly articulate the problems your customers face, identify solutions to those problems, and use that to clearly identify the value proposition that your product or service offers. That proposition is a single compelling message that describes how to address the client's problem. Although it might seem like a simple thing to do, you'd be surprised how the value proposition for a product or service may change and be refined based on discussion with other team members. The unique value proposition you identify builds a foundation for a sustainable line of business. Once that's articulated, you can define key metrics, identify market channels that you'll use to reach your customers, and define your competitive advantage vis-a-vis -vis other organizations. And of course, another important part of the canvas is the cost structure and potential revenue streams for the line of business. This is just a brief introduction to the questions we explored and the tools that we used. In our next video cast, you'll hear how the team from one of the sites in our pilot, the Mission Economic Development Agency, had some aha moments as they worked through their lean canvas. For a more detailed explanation, of the process we use to identify a business model for continuing this program, you can download a white paper that describes the process from our website at fieldus.org.